When I was four, I asked my mother if Santa was real. She replied, what do you think? I said, it doesn't matter what I think. I need to know. Not long after that, I was closely watching a magician on stage, and I saw his sleight of hand. Impulsively, I shouted out my discovery. He invited me on stage, re-performed the trick, this time without the hand move I had yelled about, and then created a red nose for me out of one of those long carnival balloons. I was mortified, but I still didn't believe in magic. Now I have my own children. They seem quite happy to enjoy the magic of Santa, even though occasional comments make it clear they know he isn't really real. This is one of my last days at Cornell University. I had just finished a PhD. I had also just submitted a huge grant proposal to the USDA AFRI program, which few people, including myself, believed I would get. Jamila sent me off from Ithaca with an informal reception at this market she helped create. She mentored me in community organizing for food justice, while Cornell folks taught me theories and methods to help understand, support, explain, and obfuscate such work. When a few of us were brainstorming names for the project we were proposing, it was Jamila who observed that the work is ultimately about dignity. I sent my first ever text message on this day on my way to the mountains with my family. The text was to Jamila and it read, we got the AFRI. USDA had called to say that our proposal was funded $5 million in five years for food dignity. I still don't believe in magic. However, I am learning what this poem teaches. Everything we thought we knew is different here and just as true. And while I cannot explain respect, gratitude, love, and dignity, I believe in them. And I believe they are more important than truth. I cannot explain how being given a northern Arapaho name, Hohehise, mountain woman, gave me strength to survive cancer and its treatment. I cannot explain how these women, and the men who took pictures of us, coalesced to bring our work forward when my energy was stripped as bald as my head. But I know it's true. Is that magic? <laughs>